remember why you wrote it. Aloha means many things, including hello and goodbye. Aloha, if como mai i hawaii nei. Hello, and welcome to Hawaii. Aloha, ahui ho. Goodbye, we hope to see you again. Usually the phrase copywriting aloha is just a euphemism for the way Hawaiian culture is exploited by many industries, mainly tourism, but Aloha Poke Company had to take this concept literally. If we remove the stones from Kilauea, the goddess, Pele, will engulf you in her heat. Blankets of flames reach across oceans to reclaim her seed. We are, we are taking, taking back, back our tongues, tongues reclaiming the, the language, language that was never yours to get with. Having our culture stolen and repackaged has become so routine, we shouldn't even be surprised at this point that an American Chicago-based company would give itself a Hawaiian name and prohibit anyone else like an actual Hawaiian poke shop in Hawaii from using that name. How do you tear an ocean apart syllable by syllable? Oh. With the next of the people who sing these words every day confined to the soles of your boots. Aloha, Aloha Poke Chicago, we are coming. Aloha, Aloha Poke customers. And if you're gonna say you love Hawaii, first stop pronouncing it the wrong way. Throw away your slippers with Hawaii written on its soul. Realize that the name of Hawaii was never meant to be a brand. Realize that the culture of Aloha was never supposed to be sold. When there is no cultural representation of Hawaii in this company, what you are supporting is dirt on our souls. Visitors, if you are entering Aloha Poke Company, perpetuating cultural appropriation, you, you are an enemy to me. It just feels like the updated version of banning the Hawaiian language in 1898. The, the prohibition, prohibition of Hello in the courtroom 2018. If you're gonna illegally overthrow a country, why not steal their word for love? A sacred word already stretched thin between plastic lays and broken back fights. Aloha also means respect. Aloha aku, aloha mai. To give and receive respect, something our nation's wrongful owners don't seem to understand. Typical colonizers trying to capitalize on someone else's culture. No soul of your own to profit. Off of. Holiday. You, you cannot, cannot industrialize our identity. identity. See, Alaska raised me, but I call Hawaii home, and I know the tone of indigenous blood being spilled. Soil, soil for the price of oil. The entire, entire family's, family's displaced to make space for your favorite vacation spot. Chicago, you are receiving an intimate view of slave ships docking in the shores of Tokelau, the shores of Fiji, the shores of Goa, the shores of Nikolai Lai, and this fucking pocket shop is publicly and legally reenacting the heist of tongues which traumatized our shores. This is for our communities, for Auntie Tasha Kahele, Auntie Kalama Okaina Niheu, Aloha Poke 808. This is for Robert Wilcox, for our nieces and nephews who will carry on as Native Hawaiians, struggling to make way between historical appropriation and cultural truth. Aloha will be their breath, and how will they know not to give it away when companies like this claim it to be their own? Queen Lilu Okalani, who was imprisoned in her own home by the country who calls us conquest number 50. Queen Lilu Okalani, who blatantly refused to submit to the patriarchy from the moment it met her shores. Queen Lilu Okalani, more than just another statue standing in Waikiki, she is our leader of resilience. Queen Lilu Okalani, the last wine monarch to bear her ancestors' language to the world. We are done being accustomed to the theft of our culture. The splitting of our tongues. Our words are not suddenly made valuable by your license. Find a word from your own language to copyright. For a company to send lawyers after our people and to put gag orders upon them for the use of our own traditional language, the very basis of greeting for the recognition of life in another human being and to utilize that as a legal blunt hammer for profit, for a cultural appropriation of a food that was our traditional foods so that they can compete in a market that was never theirs, that was never theirs to begin with. So for those of you who are in Chicago, we have Kanakali, almost 700,000 strong in an economic diaspora all over the world. So I know there's Kanakamali right now who are up in Chicago, and I know we have allies there. We have indigenous people. So all of you Olelo Hawaii people, don't maipo ina. Ika Olelo no keola, ika Olelo no kamake. In the language, there is life. In the language, there is death. So if we let these, these people, these businessmen, take the word aloha from us, and illegalize it by our own people. We are complicit in our own destruction of our history. We are complicit in the destruction of our erasure of our people. And we are complicit in allowing 
these people to harass and subjugate and oppress our people. So I am making a call out to all of our people of conscience, all of our Po'e, our Kanaka Maoli who are in the diaspora who can no longer afford to live here in Hawaii and have had to leave our homes to go, go to the Aloha Poke Company in Chicago. And those of you, everyone of conscience who understands what it's like to have your culture and your lands and your resources stripped from you, I want you to go to them and tell them, Aole, there is no Aloha in the Poke Company. And that we will not stand by this and we will not allow this. And in fact, I want to put you guys on notice that I'm going to come to Chicago and I am going to tell you what's up. I'm going to make sure that I arrange for this. And for those of you who are interested in helping me stand up for our people in Chicago, I'm going to go there. And I'm not going to tell you when or where or how, but I'm going to come there and I'm just going to let you know and give you a little piece of Kanaka mind. Mahalo nui loa, ahui ho. So spread the word. The Kanakas are coming to town. Okay, ahui ho, mahalo. Aloha everyone, my name is Tasha and I am the owner of, one of the owners, my ohana, the Kahele ohana owns um, Lay's Poke Stop here in Anchorage, Alaska. We opened Aloha Stop and Shop in 2014, um, which was our first poke shop and unfortunately we had to close that store and reopen here in a new location in East Anchorage in uh, April of 2018. Um, on May 17, 2018, we received a letter from Aloha Poke Company and, and Aloha Poke Tradings LLC saying that we should stop the use of the words Aloha and Aloha Poke because they own the rights to that. I talked to the owner of the Aloha Poke shop in Honolulu, Jeff. If you guys are in Honolulu, go check them out. Um, we learned about the Aloha Poke in Waianae. If you guys live in Waianae, go check them out. And that is Poke, guys. Uh, our letters, our season desist letters are, are up on social media now. Um, and so you will see that they claimed own, um, ownership or they claimed uh, the words Aloha. Just the word Aloha, you will see and the word aloha poke and um, when asked if they even knew what the meaning of aloha was i was told that that was irrelevant um that was irrelevant because they own the rights to use that word in business and so again i was angered at first that was the end of my conversation with them i hung up the phone a week later i got the season desist letter and um i was just blown away jess blown away um, for those of you watching that don't know what poke is um, I don't know that you will find that going to any of their restaurants you will learn the true um, you will get to experience the true meaning of what aloha means or poke because you come to Anchorage Alaska and we'll mix you some poke Hawaiian style authentically a lot of people are upset because well, like I was, um, I just did an interview with the Washington Post and they asked me, you know, why are you so, what, what was your feelings when you received the cease and desist letter? And honestly, I told him, you know, I was very offended by, um, I was very offended. I am Native Hawaiian to learn of this company who is already profiting, who has already been profiting for two years who is this multi-million million dollar co corporation right coming after us coming after um a kanaka maoli owned business my ohana um i took it very personally at first um i spent about two hours in our lawyer's office just crying um of course he, at the end of the day he said you know tosh um it, it, business is business they trademark the words aloha poke and um that was so sore right and i was thinking how can anyone do that he said you know um when you guys opened your first shop you should have thought about trademarking that word and i told him aloha does not belong to us so we know better um we we would have never done that um aloha 
we learned growing up that aloha is to be lived, right? To be given, to be shared, and um, and not restricted. So I couldn't wrap my brain around how that was happening, how how it was happening, and I was very hurt. And um, I spent all of May, all of June, and all of July um, dragging my feet. Um, uh, trying to get our store rebranded. This is our business here in Anchorage. Very small, very small. And this uh, multi-million dollar company felt like they needed to come for us. Um, before I hung up the phone with the guy, he said he was coming for everyone that had Aloha or Aloha Poke in um in their business name and was in the food and beverage industry. And so um, this is just uh, a message to everyone. Kalamo Kaina has organized a, um, she has organized a petition. Please share it. I know that there was threats of everyone going to jail, whoever signed the petition. Um, I am not sure how that is possible but I ask that you sign the petition, share the petition, um, and let our voices be heard. I was asked today earlier, I think it was by the Chicago Tribune, that um, what do we hope to get out of this? Um, you know, by coming forward and speaking up, and um, we just hope as, as Kanaka that um, in the future, our language will be so sacred that no one, especially Po'e Haole, um, can tell us that we cannot use our own language in our business, in our music, in our art, because as a native, that is our right. And, um, and that's what we hope for generations to come, that our language becomes sacred and something that people especially Kanaka Maoli families don't need to suffer from um, people that are trying to profit and exploit our language and profit off of our language. And that's been happening for so long to our people. We fought so hard to revitalize our language. And then we have people like this that, you know, that could have existed sharing that name, right? We know now that, well, the people in, of Hawaii knew, always knew that Aloha Poke in Waianae and Aloha Poke in, in Honolulu um, existed together. And there was no threats of anyone suing anyone because of the names. You know why? Because that is not um, the ways of our people. That is not Aloha. And I just want to mahalo um, my auntie for connecting me with Kalama Kaina Niheu um, and Kalama for just your strength and for um, your aloha for us, our family here, for connecting us with people around the world so that they could hear our story. Um, we are so blessed. Love you, Shana. I got your message. Thank you for praying for us. Thank you to everyone who continues to pray for our ohana um, and who just covers us in prayer so that we are able to, to, you know, stand up against people and all things evil. And, um, and so we just mahalo all of you guys. And if you can share my video, I would really appreciate it. Um, that way everyone gets the message that uh, we, number one, did not send the angry mob. Like I said in my post, the actions, your actions, um, Aloha Poke Company has created an uproar um, of my people, and rightfully so. And so, um, it is wrong to claim the rights and tell a Native Hawaiian family that uh, we are not to use our own language in our business. That is wrong. Stay in touch. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Ahuyo.
Buffy, why is this so important to you? Why is this important to me? Because it's not right. It's not right for somebody who's not of our culture, who doesn't understand, you know, the meaning of aloha, the proper meaning of aloha. And to put a cease and desist on, on a native Hawaiian that can't, you know, have their own business because they have the, a similar name, that's just not right. It's wrong. And it needs to be fixed now. Aloha is part of our traditional knowledge. It's our language, our Hawaiian language. So when somebody copyrights it and then reserves it for their own private use, restricts Native Hawaiians from using it in the future or anyone from using it after this, it's, that's not right. It's not right to withhold aloha from our people for future generations. Lakota from, uh, from Pine Ridge, South Dakota and black. You know, it's important that us as original indigenous people that we stand together and unite in making sure that we keep our languages, our land, our culture. So it's really important that, that we stand in a united voice for that. Well, basically this is why it's important because we're talking about cultural attacks. Cultural attacks that ain't even trying to give no type of uh, benefits to the people at all for, off their name. Then you're not even asking for permission to use the name. That's wrong. So, you know, and when you're talking about systematic oppression, you know what I'm saying? This country always setting up things that got something to deal with oppressing the people or taking something from the people from their culture or whatever it may be and stuff like that got to stop. And that's why I'm out here, to support the people and the cause so we can end all of them type of games. You did, Eliyahu. What does it mean to you? Why are you out here? It's about respect and it's aloha is for everybody and not just for yourself. That's why I brought my, my family, my ohana, my aloha. Why is this important to you? Aloha is a way of life for us. Aloha is something that should not be sold. Aloha is not trademarked.
airport, you guys. You own the Poké Shop in Alaska. I do. Alaska. I do. Now oh. named Place Poké Stop. She changed her name. Yeah. Because and tell me, what does it mean to you to be in Chicago to see such a big turnout from so many people? Oh, it means so much to me. Um, but it's not about us, it's about our people, the Hawaiian language, and so we, we are so blessed. There are so many people that are here in support of Aloha today. And you flew all the way in from Alaska, I correct? did. We got here early this morning. <laughs> What's your message to people? Aloha is not for sale. Aloha is inclusive of all things, and we want Aloha Poke Company to rescind their trademark. That's our message today. Mahalo. And what did, what did you change yours to again? Lay's Poke Stop in Anchorage, Alaska. Lay's Poke Stop yeah. in Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, tell me, explain the vibe to me. How many people are out? Uh, what's, what's the vibe like for people? The oh man, the spirit of Aloha is definitely here in Chicago yeah. this morning. You can yes. feel it. The mana, all the pule that everyone has been sending from around the world. and monetary use and aloha should be shared and given to everyone and why are you personally upset because i'm hawaii hawaii and what do you feel about their food um i never tried it personally it does not look like poke it may be legal but it's very immoral what they're doing you know they have cease and desist letters to companies in small mom and pops in texas Alaska, <laughs> Washington State, and Hawaii. So many of them have already gone through the very expensive process of changing their names and rebranding, uh, and that's just wrong. She doesn't know what's going on. She just and she just um, ate here. Oh, okay. So here's, here's the thing. Um, yeah. yeah, you know what? I can give you this flyer. It's got a lot more information on there. And you can go online. You can ultimately hear a that I could share it with you. What is Aloha and Poke? And Aloha is part of the Native Hawaiian language. Thank you for carrying the Hall of Fame. Yeah, they're trying to trade. Uh, he's trying to trademark. What I've heard in the past is the lines are usually very long in the shop um, at this time and there's currently a very small line so I think we're helping every day. Awesome. This guy just stopped to ask what's going on too. Excellent. Do you want to um, say why this is important to you? Oh, for so many reasons but I mean the cultural uh, misappropriation uh, on so many levels is mind-boggling in this particular case. So um, it's just egregious. I don't think he even has standing to this trademark. I honestly don't even think he could defend it. This is ridiculous. And I saw the way that those attorneys worded that letter. Uh, I think they messed up big time. I think Aloha Poke Co messed up big time. I think it's not actually even Poke. I think the way that they've spelled it with a made up Kahako over the E is not a word I can find in the Vehe Vehe resources. Aloha. Hey, they try to trademark Aloha. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's crazy. I, I can't believe that they're gonna trademark Hawaiian words and say we cannot use it. It's, that's not right. So I'm at an orthopedic conference here. I'm from Honolulu, and I just had to come down and represent. You know, yeah, this is not right. This is, I mean, it's not Pono. They gotta, you know, I mean, if they're gonna use the word aloha, at least have some aloha, you know, but not make other people, especially Hawaiians, say that they can't use their own word. Um, so, Mahalo, yeah. okay. Brother. Okay, take care, take care. Saw that lady, she went inside. This guy, I'll say, forget this place, you guys. Yeah. Mm. here indigenous people from all nations came out our people from Alaska are here right here Alaska That's right. Aloha Alaska Aloha Aloha, Aloha. problems with other people appropriating our language and culture because we share. We share. But it's misappropriation when they try to tell us we, that cannot, we cannot use it. Yeah. Right, Uncle. And they try to trademark it. That's just not right. Right, Uncle. You are right, Uncle. by Aloha, Aloha Poke Company, and now you have the support of hundreds of thousands of people all over the world. You have start, helped start and spark a revolution, and now you're from Alaska to Chicago in front of Aloha Poke Company, ready to deliver the petitions yes. from the voice of the people. How did it feel? Man, it just feels amazing. Um, we're so overwhelmed. Aloha! The spirit of Aloha is definitely yes. here with us. Everyone's mana, everyone's pule all day, all week here in Chicago. You know, um, people are upset by these guys up here. No aloha. And to be on the ground with all these people who, who really are advocating for so much, the stealing of our culture, 
colonialism. Look at this. All our First Nations people are here with us today. <laughs> It's incredible. Resend their trademark. Look at that. You're not deaf, are you? Nice. Hey, oh. Yeah. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. <laughs> we had hundreds of people. Some have left yeah. already, but just that black in the streets that have been sharing their aloha with Chicago on the other side. I'm your president of the Chicago Two Spirit Society, and I'm Choctaw and Cherokee, and I'm proud to be here to represent my people, oh, my Two Spirit people, in solidarity with these brothers and sisters. Because this company has no right to tell any of you, any of you Hawaiian brothers and sisters, uh, 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 to cease and desist your language and your culture. They have, they have no ownership over anything that is Hawaiian. And who are they to tell you who, what, what you call hey, us? Oh. And I so much love from from our people here. So many First Nations people. The Boricuas are here. Yeah, it's been such a beautiful experience, I tell you. Hello, everybody. This is not over. It's Tasha Lehoku, and we are here from Lace Poke Stop in Anchorage, Alaska, to deliver our petition from our people, almost 200,000 people from around the world in support of this movement for the Aloha Poke Company to rescind their trademark and stop using the words Aloha and Aloha Poke in their business. Um, we have tried this entire week to deliver this petition and our declaration, the Powell Colony Declaration, to the corporate offices and we were unable to find the corporate office here in Chicago. And so we are, we are here at the Clinton, the original Aloha Poke Company, here to deliver this uh, to the employees inside in hopes that it will get to Chris Birkinshaw or anyone from the corporate offices of Aloha Poke Company. So follow us.
All right. Okay, so we will save these copies to um, see if we can get this to maybe the investors, um, the investors of the Aloha Poke Company, or see if our Chicago Ohana here can help us deliver this in another way. what Aloha means because we all have those sacred things. We all have those things that can't be monetized, that can only be shared with generosity. And what this company has done is tried to monetize something that's so incredibly sacred. The people in, of Hawaii knew, always knew that Aloha Poke in Waianae and Aloha Poke in, in Honolulu. Um, existed together and there was no threats of anyone suing anyone because of the names you know why because that is not um the ways of our people that is not aloha 